Meet Spencer. No, not the squirrel, the tree that this little guy's living in. Pretty soon, the tree on Dale Street will be removed by the city because it's dying. Losing a tree like this is like losing a favorite relative that you've known almost your whole life. And she's been healthy and strong and taking care of you. And suddenly, now, you find out that she has some terrible terminal illness and, and only a very short time to live. Carol Willis is not upset with the city, but obviously upset the tree has to go down. Thousands of silver maples across the city in our 200 square mile city are get, reaching the age where they're declining in health. They need to be pruned or they need to be removed because of severe heart rot on the inside. And when those silver maples start to rot, they become hollow, which puts homes, buildings, and people at risk of being hurt. This time of year when the trees are starting to flush out with water-filled leaves, it becomes too heavy, and that structurally unsound tree will literally just fall over under its own weight or on a good windy day like today, just simply be blown over. It's necessary, I do understand that, to have a very viable tree that has good deep roots and, and is strong enough to withstand those winds but it doesn't make losing it any more, any easier. And Will agrees. It's heartbreaking to tell somebody, that's our tree, we gotta take it down. When you get used to the idea, you know that you have to accept it, but uh, you sure don't have to like it.